Hi there, this is Dan at DH Squared and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to shorten a set of LED Christmas lights. Now there's two different ways to do this. One allows you to shorten it to any length you want on here. The other method is to basically cut this in half. Now when you cut it in half it's a much simpler method and I'm going to explain why in a moment. Whereas shortening it to any exact specific length requires a little more work and there's uh, a little more to take into account. But I'm going to first show you how to cut it in half. Or on a longer set, it might just be in segments. This is a relatively short set, so uh, it can be cut in half. Whereas a longer set might be, be cut in thirds or in fourths. So uh, the first thing I want to explain is when you look at this cord, you can see on the end where the plug is, there's just two wires. So to very easily shorten a set of lights, you got to find another section where there's just the two wires. So once you get up to this first light here, you can see after that, there's three wires. But if you keep following the string, you get through the first segment of lights on this set of lights and that's where it's easiest to shorten the string at. So here you can see it's just a pair. So between these two lights it's just one pair of wires. So to shorten it to that length, which in this case again is about half of it, you'll simply just cut this wire off, cut the wire and terminate it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go in here let me remind you, obviously, the very first thing you want to do is make sure that this is not plugged in. So you do not want to do this while it's plugged in. Okay, so now that we have confirmed that it's not plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and cut these wires. So now we just cut our light string in half, but we have these two bare wires here. Now at the end, you can see there's a, a wire in there. We need to do something with this to make it safe. The simplest method to make your uh, termination safe is to simply use wire nuts. So you want to screw one wire nut on to the end of each wire. Do not put them both in the same wire nut. Now this is not a waterproof solution unless you buy the waterproof wire nuts. So I would not use this outside like this. I would use the uh, waterproof wire nuts to do this if you're going to be using this outside. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a small piece of shrink tubing on the end of it and I'm just going to insert it part way. I don't want it to stick all the way through like that. I'm just going to stick it through part like maybe halfway or so and heat that up. You don't want to heat it too much. You don't want to melt the insulation. And then I'm going to do that to the other one. Now each wire needs its own piece of shrink tubing. You don't want to stick them together at this point with one shrink tubing. You want each one to be individual. I'm going to shrink this one down. So once they're shrunk, both shrunk, I'm going to twist them back up together. I'm going to put them together now and put a larger piece of shrink tubing on. I'm going to slide that on just a little bit past and what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up folding this over at the end when we're done shrinking it. So we want to have enough that we can fold this end over. But we want to get up past our shrink tubing that we have. So we have that on there like that. I'm going to heat this up. Now we're trying to do is make a nice, fairly well sealed. I mean, nothing's going to be perfect. I mean, it's not meant to be completely waterproof or anything like that. But this will give it a much better chance of survival long term by doing this. So now that we have that, I'm going to get a zip tie. 
a smaller zip tie. Let's see. Find one in here. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold this over, and then I'm going to zip tie that folded over. Obviously, if you have a white one or a black one or something, it might blend, oops, it might blend in a little bit better for you. So I'm just going to kind of get it on there like, like so. If you can see that. Just kind of get it on towards the end there. Tighten it down. That way it's, you're kind of closing the end off. Pull it pretty tight. And then cut off your excess zip tie. So there is our terminated light string. That's pretty well sealed from the elements. So now I can plug this in and we have our shortened light string. Now I want to go ahead and show you the method where you can cut this off in between any sets of lights, not just where there's the two wires. Again, like I said, this is the easiest thing to do. You just cut it off, terminate the wires, and you're done. If you want to go ahead and cut it off anywhere where there's three wires, it's a little bit more involved of a process. So let me go through and explain that to you. So let's decide that what we want to do is cut it off in between these two lights. Now you can see there's three wires there. So we're going to go ahead and just, we're still going to just go ahead and cut that. Okay. But now, instead of just terminating the three wires, that won't work. What we have to do is we have to determine which wires are coming from where. So if we untwist them a little bit, we can see this wire never goes to this bulb. So we're going to terminate this wire by itself, but then we're going to connect these two wires together to, re to close the path, to close the circuit. And then uh, this light set will work here. So this is a little more involved. So let's just go ahead and put a wire nut on this first one. And again, uh, the way that I would do this would be a little more secure like we had talked about earlier with shrink tubing and all that. But for the sake of demonstrating the connections, I'm just going to use wire nuts on this, uh, on this one. So we're going to have to strip these two back. Okay. Now again, remember this one was the one that was coming from the previous light and the ones that I am stripping back is one of them coming from the previous light and one coming from the light. So, or, so that's, those are the two that you're going to want to connect together. So I'm going to twist these together and I'm going to put the wire nut on those. Now, to make it more secure, I would use a soldering iron, solder those together, use shrink tubing and, and whatnot. But for the sake of just showing you the connections and what is necessary, this is how I'm going to do it. So that is basically how you do that. So that is now uh, complete. When we plug this in, uh, the, all these lights will light up. So as you can see, all the lights are lit up, up to the point in which I cut it off. So again, I would do this a little cleaner on the end with shrink tubing, solder and whatnot to make it a more secure connection, a more, with a, you know, better integrity. But for the sake of demonstration, this is how you would terminate the end by cutting it in between any two lights not 
at that specific area that I mentioned earlier with just the two wires. Now you might be asking, uh, there's more than one wire that's coming from this light. There's one coming from the light and the other one comes from before the light just like this one. You're probably asking, well, which one of these, this one or this one, let's see, or this one, which of those two do I connect to the one coming from the light? And it's really hard to say, but if you connect the wrong one, the light string will not work. It won't damage anything, you, you won't wreck anything, you won't cause any danger. But when you go to plug it in, if it doesn't work, you know that you'll have to connect the other one. Otherwise, you have to trace the wires all the way back to the beginning. And trust me, it's going to be easier to do the trial and error. So try one of them. And if it doesn't work, use the other wire and it should work for you. So this is how you can shorten your Christmas lights at home. Uh, again, uh, make sure it's not plugged in when you're doing this. Another thing is this will void any warranty that these products have. It will void any UL listing or any certification listing that you have. So you are doing it at your own risk. Um, I don't feel as though that's a big concern to me because I know it's safe. I know what we're doing. But uh, again, if you're not comfortable with that or those scenarios, then then please don't do this, don't attempt this. But again, it will void all of that. So uh, use caution with that. And just like with any electrical work, if you're not comfortable doing any of this, consult somebody that uh, is comfortable doing with it, a friend or an electrician or somebody else. So I appreciate you watching. I hope this video helped. If it does, please give me a like and a thumbs up. Um, if it doesn't, please let me know and I can uh, do some other things in the future that would be able to help you out even better. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.